Hey guys, Min here. So have you ever wondered how a quartz watch like this one works? So today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how quartz watch movement work and how they compare to an automatic watch and also something called a hybrid automatic. So I hope you stay to the end so you learn something about quartz watches. So let's get started. Quartz watches are the most common type of watches you'll find today, and for good reasons. They are accurate, affordable, and very low maintenance. But how exactly do they work? At a very high level, a quartz watch has a small battery that sends electrical signals to a quartz crystal. The quartz crystal oscillates at a very high frequency and produces a very stable and accurate timekeeping signal. Okay, so now, this is where it gets really interesting and fun. As most of you know, one hertz is one cycle per second. So what frequency does the quartz crystal oscillate at? Well, it oscillates at 32 kilohertz. In particular, 32,768 hertz exactly. So that seems very specific, right? So why does it choose that particular frequency? Well, that's a great question as we commonly use these, this frequency for two reasons. The first reason is 32 kilohertz is outside of our hearing range. Our human ears have a hearing range between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. So we really want to stay outside of that range. At 32 kilohertz, we're just outside the range. Unfortunately, my buddy Hugo here can still hear it because a dog's hearing range is between 40 hertz and 60 kilohertz. So that makes me wonder, if I replace the battery on this thing, does Hugo hear a constant ring when this thing is running? That must be annoying, right? Now, the second reason why we use 32,768 hertz is because we can quickly get to one hertz by doing some simple logic circuits and divide the signal by half 15 times. So let me show you. All right, so I have an iPhone with a calculator app. So I'll type in 32768, that's the frequency, and I'll divide by two, and I'll push the equal button. One time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we are, one. So, we can get to one hertz that easily and that quickly. So once we get to one hertz, we can feed that signal to a stepper motor and we get a ticking second. And that's what's causing the ticking second that's on a quartz watch. For digital watches, we just simply feed the signal into a counter that counts up per cycle and then display that in a, a time format for an LCD screen and that's it. So as long as we have consistent battery power, we can generate a consistent frequency of very accurate time peeping using this quartz crystal. Now, one of the benefits of having a quartz watch is that a traditional mechanical watch like this one requires us to wind the springs and for the second hands to tick. So with a quartz watch that uses power, we don't have to wind anymore. We can simply replace a battery. And the battery typically lasts a couple of years, so you don't have to worry about it. It's quite convenient. So now let's switch gears. Let's talk about automatic movement watches. The automatic movement watches are often called self-winding watches. Why? Because you no longer have to wind a watch like this one. And unlike this particular watch, which doesn't have a rotor on the end or a counterweight on the end, a Automatic watch, there is a counterweight there that moves around. So as you move around on your wrist, this thing winds the mainspring and provides the watch with power. Now, the main advantage of an automatic watch is that you don't need to change batteries because as you move around, this thing provides um, power store onto the main spring. And of course, if you're like me, you appreciate this because it's a mechanical watch basically 
that there's no electricity or electronics in there. So in case of a nuclear EMP, electromagnetic pulse. Magnetic pulse? Yes, Minister. One burst in outer space over the UK and everything with a microchip in it, from, well, the modern toaster to the most sophisticated computers and our defense systems, would be rendered absolutely useless. This watch will still work. Now, in terms of accuracy, quartz watches are typically more accurate than the automatic movement watch. But the automatic movement watches do come with a certain charm and appeal that because of their traditional mechanical movements. And they're almost like little small works of mechanical masterpiece, which is a big part of what makes these watches so special. So what about this thing called hybrid automatic watches? Like this watch. And I did a whole video about this particular watch here, so check it out. Well, a hybrid automatic watch is also commonly known as a kinetic watch. A kinetic watch basically is a watch that takes the best features of a quartz watch, which is the accuracy, and the best features of an automatic watch, which is no need to replace batteries, and combine them together. So to do this, a quartz movement is connected to a weighted rotor, similar to you have in an automatic movement, and the rotor is connected to a mechanical to electrical converter, which generates electricity as we move around with this watch on our arms and causing the rotor to spin. The electricity generated are then stored in a rechargeable battery or a capacitor, which powers the quartz movement of the watch, which we described earlier in this video. A kinetic watch can store power for an extended period of time, typically several months if you get it fully charged. So you can naturally set it down and not use it for quite a while and you still have power. However, if you don't use it for over an extended period of time, it will still lose power and it will stop moving. However, in the world of watches, anything that's not mechanical and or automatic doesn't get the love and appreciation or the prestige as a mechanical or an automatic watch. And because these quartz watches can be mass produced at a lower cost, they often are categorized as cheap and low cost. But just because these hybrid watches or quartz watches are low cost, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't appreciate the beauty of quartz watches. Personally, I find how quartz watches leverages physics, electricity, and math to keep time it's pretty amazing to me. And because the invention of this quartz technology, it brought the accurate timekeeping to the masses and it revolutionized and changed the world. So I hope next time you see a quartz watch, you can appreciate the inner beauty of a quartz watch as much as I do. Okay, so that's it for this time. So if you have any questions about quartz watches or if you want me to dive into anything that more about time or timekeeping pieces, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will hopefully able to address them. And if you like this particular video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. And oh, don't forget to enjoy your quartz watches or your hybrid or kinetic watches. Bye.